Hey guys, it's Coach Chris. Um, I just wanted to reach out to everybody. I hope and everybody's heading out for winter break. I want to make a quick video because well, with the rain, <clears throat> we haven't been able to get out of practice as much, and our season starts in two weeks, so we have real games, and we've a lot of new players this year. So I kind of wanted to walk through the positions on the field, and hopefully you could take a couple minutes and show this video to your kids, and just let them see the diagram, and hopefully this kind of register with them. We've done it a little bit in practice. I know. We've done some scrimmages, but it's overwhelming for the new kids. So um, if you can, take a couple minutes to show them this video, and uh, we'll go through it again before the season starts. But hopefully this seeing it on a whiteboard and hearing me talk through it will help them out. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the field. The field in U9 is modified. It's only 60 yards long by uh, 35 yards wide compared to a full-size field, which is about 110 by 60. Um, we play 7v7. Seven seven. I'm sure a lot of you have seen our scrimmages. So we only have um, seven players on the field. That includes the goalie. Um, so we have a midfield stripe. Um, this is the goal, and this is the crease, right? So each side, you know, the crease, you can, the players cannot enter the crease unless they're on defense trying to get the ball. If they're on offense and they step in the crease, we lose the ball. Um, or if they shoot and step in the crease, it's no goal. The uh, one thing that is not marked on the field, there's an invisible line, and it's from the goal line and extends all the way through. We call this goal line extended, and it's just an invisible line all the way through. GLE, goal line extended, is what we'll call it. And before we actually do a faceoff, all the players, except for the midfielders, and we'll go into the players in one second, have to start behind. GLE and the officials will send them back there so you'll have an attackman here and a defender here an attackman here and you'll have it on both sides and then you'll have your midfielders here doing face-offs I'll get into that in a second but when you hear GLE or goal line extended we want the players even with the goal line and behind it and that's where they stand before the face-off we'll get into that in a second as well all right let's do this let's actually get right into the positions so this is important um, We've walked through this with the kids a lot, so maybe you can ask them if they know. Um, midfielders. Each team has a, a midfielder, two midfielders in our league. So there's going to be a, an opposing midfielder for each one. And on a faceoff, or on, for the midfielders, these guys are responsible for playing the whole field. So they're the kind of guys that when they're, they're, they're going down to score or they're back here helping out the defense, their responsibility is to transition up and down the field. They don't get to take any breaks. So this is the most demanding position in the field at U9, actually in, in all of lacrosse, because the other side gets a break when the ball, the attack and defense get a break when the ball is on the other side. Um, along with the midfielders, we've got our attackmen. I'm going to draw them in red. They're scoring down here, and they're matched up with a defenseman. So there's a defenseman and attackman on each side. So these would be our uh, attackman down here, because Green's trying to score down here, and they would be guarded by a defenseman. And when the play is starting, the midfielder will start a faceoff. These two players here are in a faceoff. This guy is the the wing midfielder and this one's on the wing and they're going to run in and try and get the ball when one of these midfielders pulls it out. Now this guy and this guy cannot get into the pile when they're fighting for the ball. Once they pull it out, these guys are free to go get it. Until they get the ball, one of these guys, four guys gets the ball, these guys cannot leave behind goal line extended. They have to stay there until the referee tells them to release, which means somebody has gained possession, one of the midfielders. So let's say this midfielder gains possession. He's going to run into the offensive zone. This guy's going to run into the offensive zone. At this point, you'll either hear the coaches or the referees yelling, release. Our attackmen, we want them to kind of come out and get into space. So their job is to get open. Now these defenders are going to be following them around, doing their job. In order for them to get open, they have to keep moving. So if you can just tell your kids, keep moving, Find themselves, you know, go wide to the side of the field because there's a lot of space over here. And a lot of times the kids, they all bunch in the middle and it's just a big traffic jam. 
We don't want that. We want our kids to kind of spread the field out and make it very wide so we have a lot of room to pass the ball. Um, in our league, we, need, we do need two passes completed before we can actually attempt a shot. And when we say completed passes, it actually can be dropped on the ground and scooped up. As long as we make two completed two pass attempts completed and without the other team taking the ball from us, those count as passes. Um, on the field, there's a couple places that we have terminology for, and one of them is X. And X means behind the goal. And a lot of offense starts back here, so we'll tell an offensive attackman typically, hey, go to X, go to X, and we want this guy to come back to X. So his, we're going to try and get him the ball, or sometimes we'll have the midfielders run all the way down. Instead of getting stuck up here, we'll just say, hey, run all the way back to X, and you can start a play from back there. At this age, a lot of our guys, as soon as they cross the line, they think they have to pass it. They don't. So tell your boys when they're watching this that, hey, you can carry the ball all the way in. You don't have to pass until you're ready. And we don't want them to pass until they're ready. Ready meaning they have an open player. They have an open teammate who's ready to catch the ball. Um, and catching the ball means having your stick up ready to catch. If your son's running around with a stick down at his side or not watching – his teammates aren't going to be able to pass the ball. So guys, make sure when you're watching your, your, your teammates, make sure you're six up so they know you're ready to catch. Um, so our objective when we're on offense is to find space. And that doesn't mean running big circles if we're, if we're an attackman. And we've got a defenseman here. We don't want to just run in big circles and have them chase us because it's really easy for them. We want to cut in and cut out. Keep cutting you know as long as we're moving this guy has no idea where we're going he's gonna be always behind us but if we're just running in a big circle he can stay with us really easy um, goalies we have goalies they when they get the ball they can actually leave the crease to pass we, we don't want them to leave the crease we want them to stay in the we want them to stay in um, their job try and catch the ball, save the ball. And then if the goalie gets the ball, we want the defensemen who are helping him. I'm drawing on the wrong side. We want the defensemen to run out to the sides because then our goalie can pass them the ball and they can get the ball up the field. So goalies are pretty simple at this age. We typically hope the ball hits them and doesn't go in because most of these kids aren't very good at goalie. Um, so on defense... So now we move down to the defensive side of the field. And they've got the ball now. They're, their midfielders have the ball. Our midfielders now become defenders. So before they were on offense, and now they're playing defense on this side. And our defensemen are trying to guard the attackmen. The best way in our age group to play defense is just stay with your guy. Make sure that you're, you know, you're putting your stick on their hands, making it very difficult for them to catch and pass. If your guy has the ball, we want you poking and lifting his stick, um, playing aggressive. We don't play dirty, so we're not slashing, but we are lifting their sticks, trying to knock the ball out, um, lifting up their hands, poking them. Um, there's a lot of ways to get the ball out, and whatever way it works is what we like. So um, if this guy comes this way, we just want our guys to go with him. If this guy comes back here, we just want him to go with him. So the one thing that's important and it's very hard at this age is while this guy is guarding this guy he also needs to be looking where the ball is he needs to know where the ball is not just his guy and I know that's hard because um, we ask them to find their guy and stay on their guy so they're so focused on their guy that they're actually face to face with them trying to stay with them we'd rather have them if the guy is here the ball's here standing like this looking at the player and looking at the ball so they know if the ball comes near them they can react, maybe pick up the ball at the ground or help out and steal the ball. But if they're face to face, they don't know what's going on behind them. And that's a challenge. Um, so, I mean, that's it really for the positions. Um, the key is when they're on attack, when, when they're on attack, they, they, they need to get open, um, of, you know, find as much space as they can getting away from their guys. And the one, one of the, I should say this, when we're on attack down here, the attackmen can only play to midfield. They cannot go beyond midfield. 
the only players that can go across are midfielders. So the defensemen, when they're playing defense, they can only go to midfield. So once a player crosses here, they have to stop. They can't keep chasing the guy. And our attackmen, you know, they want to stay in this area. So say the other team steals the ball and they start running away, we have to stop here. We can't keep chasing them. The only guys who can go both ways, again, are the midfielders. A um, couple things in our league. There is no checking. There is a lot of physicalness because the, just the nature of the game, they're bumping and bruising. Um, but there's no heart. You cannot check a player to the ground. Well, you actually get a penalty and you'll be out. out. You have to sit, pull our guy out. Um, what else do I want to share? Um, I really think that's it. Um, you know, key thing, ground ball scooping. Make sure our hand is near the plastic and we're getting down. If we have our hands up near the top of the stick, like a vacuum cleaner, we'll never scoop a ground ball. So kids got to bend down, make sure their hand is near the plastic um, when we're shooting. We want to make sure our hand's on the bottom and we slide our hand down to our tape or the middle if we don't have tape. And we want to come straight by our ear. We want to go, we don't, we don't want to come around our side. We want to come straight down our ear. And right, paint the pipe, paint the pipe, straight down. When we're catching, we want that in the box. We want our kids to have our sticks up and receive the ball back. So we're not reaching for the ball. We're, we're catching it and, and cradling it soft, like just letting it come in. That way you can buy our ear too. We want to buy our ear, catch it in, we're ready to go. If you're jabbing for it, it's probably going to pop out. Um, those are just a couple quick tips. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, hopefully, more importantly, we've done the sticks, the ground ball. We've talked about that a ton. We have not talked about the field a lot. Um, so please show them this, show them the attackmen, the defense, how they can only play half the field, how the midfielders have full responsibility. More importantly, when you're on offense, we need you to spread out. Don't be afraid to go all the way out to the edge. If you're standing next to your player, if you, if you look up and you're standing next to another Hawk, you might want to spread out because you're too close. There's no, re no reason to be standing five yards away from a player because we're not going to make short passes like that. Um, and on defense, just stay with your man, and you'll that's the best defense you can play. Just be right on them. They, they have no chance to catch or pass the ball, um, and that's all we can do. So, guys, play catch over winter break, and we will see you back when uh, we get on, on Monday.